Guys, just get these side vets like this massive great big bat. Let's get me feather on because I ain't had no mackerel yet. Uh oh. Good evening and welcome to a very windy Chesil Beach. I'm at Abbotsbury. Trying for a codlin. Maybe a bass, we'll see what happens. It's the first big blow, or I'm out on the first bet the first day of a week of blows. I can't get out the rest of the week. I might be able to, see on three talk to missus. I got blacks, peeler and some squid. Fresh blacks for a change. It's rough. I'm fishing seven ounce leads. Managing the whole bottom in a moment. Let's see what we can do. Right, first chucks are out. It's a little bit of hard work keeping the lines tight, but that's not uh, unexpected. Uh, yeah, the sea's doing about a two and a half metre swell at least. Two and a half to three is borderline fishing. Um, the wind's about 30 mile an hour west southwest, so it's cutting straight down the beach towards Weymouth. But I'm here, imagine the whole bottom. But you gotta keep, you gotta keep your lines tight. That's the biggest thing when it's like this. You gotta keep your lines tight. I was gonna fish the Weymouth end, but down there the wind had been right in my face, so I thought I'd come here. Another wind cutting across, not ideal but it's a little bit better. Like I said, I've got blacks and lugs. I've got little short panel rigs. They're about 18 inches, two foot long. With a pair of four O's on, uh, 40 or 50 pound snuds, 80 pound, 80 pound main, bo main body, and seven ounce breakaway impact. That's my usual, any fish anywhere, tournament match mark ones with the pen fad and 12s. It's all very standard gear. Um, I'm hoping this bit of fluff in the water will bring a few fish in. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm winding the first one, so I think I may be shingled on the left. Ooh. Right then guys, it seems it was worth it. It is windy, it is wild, but they're here. Doesn't look as big on camera, it's about three pounds. Nice little start for my chesel open. Let's see if we can get another one. As you can see, it's pretty lumpy, like another hour before high tide, but I should be fine up where I am. Right, storm fishing tips. It is a big old swell, about two metres at the moment, if not more. The best tip I got for you is a small bait and a big lead. I'm using like a single black lug with a little strip of squid, I'll show you in a minute. A seven ounce grip layer. I'm hitting it low and across the wind and that gives me the extra little distance so you know you can dig the lead in and that's the biggest thing if you dig the lead in you can fish obviously within your own limits your own gear limits and your own safety limits so just pan up the rods found quite a bit of tide. It's a fair old bend in them at the moment. So I'm getting about 90, maybe 100 yards at the moment, even with a 30 mile an hour crosswind. Because I've been practicing my casting, I'm doing really well with the casting at the moment, it's kind of weird. Anyway, right. Change your baits, see what we can do. So, a little, little update. Um, discretion is a better part of ballast. Sometimes I move back up the beach about 30 feet. So, we're not quite high water yet, and a few of the waves are coming over the last um, shelf down there. So, I move back a bit, make myself a little bit safer. Um, no more fish yet. I've had a couple of bites I've missed. Um, the rods are holding well. The tide's lovely. The tide's about, now about three quarters of an hour off of high water now. Three quarters an hour, half an hour, something like that. So I'm hoping when the tide starts ebbing out again, 
We should get another flood of fish come through. Maybe nail another one, which would be nice. Onwards. Well, it ain't no less wild. I'll quickly show you one of my baits. There it is. There's two little blacks. And a little strip squid. That size of my finger. Maybe a touch longer. Power four O's. 40 pound snug. About two foot long. On a pulley. On a seven ounce griplet. Can't get a lot simpler than that. Give an idea of what is and isn't a bite tonight. Most of it's not a bite. As you can probably guess. Tonight, trying to keep the lines tight. I load the rod tips just now about a foot to try and get them in the lead of the shelter like that. Because they were just right and hand all over the place. The only bite I've seen so far is that one codlin. Weighs in at £3.5, ounces, which is lovely for the start of the year. Getting really awkward with the casting because the wind's about 40 mile an hour due west. That's weed. But yeah, it's very awkward with the casting. Do one more cod, then I go home very happy. Alright, it's so my favourite thing I want to do with the cod. Let's fill it and release. Same little cod, then. This is how I do it. Start this up. Nice and close, all the bones. What the exhaust is. Get the meat at the top of his head. It's a good love of meat there. Don't come over square, go right up in there. Best way of doing it. Avoid the bulk of the bones. Lovely fill it off. Everything else is kept enclosed in the cavity. Getting this side. Like I say, follow the spine. Follow the bones. Go through like that. This is not the best night. A bit blunt.
and I'll go release him, him back to sea so we can grow another pair of fillets for us. So that's the end of that session. Uh, it's about half past eleven, uh, quarter past eleven now, and the wind has just picked up to about 50, 60 miles an hour out of nowhere. It was like coming up the beach like a crab going sideways, and the rods were getting blown back behind me. Um, so, if you want to see more of this, please like and subscribe. I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed and liked my videos so far. Um, keep it up, keep liking, keep subscribing. The more the merrier. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.